Welcome to 12D Synergy Client Links and Data Transfer. For Client Links, um, I've got some PDFs in my output folder here. So links are, sending a link is a very easy way to notify internal staff to the location of a file, folder, 12D model project, etc. For example, to find one of the PDFs in 12D Synergy. So say I want to let a colleague know where this PDF is. You can pick on it. Right click, go Other, Create Link. This will give you several options. The top one at the, the one at the top, clipboard. Simple um, copy link to plain text can be pasted anywhere you want inside a Windows Explorer, uh, inside any other communication device or email. The desktop shortcut icon uh, is a really good one for creating uh, shortcuts to your desktop so it will open up directly to that file or folder or whatever it may be instead of opening up Synergy standard and then browsing to your project every morning. Email it opens up a new email for you and it has the web link inside of it. Uh, there's the copy uh, clipboard for email. Again, this um, is a hyperlink, uh, can be pasted into an email. And then you've got the clipboard as readable text. Again, uh, it's like a copy and paste, except um, the text is a readable rather than a, a format. We're just going to use the simple clipboard for this one. So I'm going to close down my 12D Synergy client now. And um, I'm going to bring up my simple Windows Explorer. And inside the bar there, uh, I'm going to paste that link. Okay, Just as you would send this link uh, via whatever communication device you choose to somebody else, they would get this link. Uh, they can click on it or paste it into uh, Internet or Windows Explorer like this and hit enter and because my 12D Synergy is closed it's actually going to reopen the client it will then browse and find the job the folder and finally it will locate the file and highlight it just like that if I already had my 12D Synergy client open you can simply paste the link into the location bar down the bottom here publish File publishing allows you to make files stored in 12D Synergy available over the internet, viewable by any web browser. This is particularly useful for large files which are too large for email. This can be restricted by password and or expiry date. Uh, this feature must be enabled by your administrator before it can be used. Now, publishing can be done informally, so no record except the email link it went in is kept or you can use it through the issue so it keeps a transmittal. We'll show you that one shortly. So to use publish informally and I do not recommend you use this for clients it's more maybe for an internal purposes simply go and select the files you want to send or the data right click on it come down to data out and select publish So this is the publish panel. We give it a name at the top. So maybe it's something like uh, date format and whatever it may be. You have the option to make it available until a certain date. So I could tick that on. I could come and pick a date and I can say, well, you've got a week to download this and then the link expires. You have the option to add uh, extra security with an extra password. So you could tick that on, you could put your own password in there, or you could generate one. Uh, description that's required. So we're going to say uh, PDFs for information. Download page. So again, you can use a template here. Um, we just go and pick whichever one we want. So you could go standard with password or standard. 
and then you've got the send by email or just sh always show download page. I tend to just do the download page here, it'll bring up the link for me. Down the bottom there's the two files that I've attached to the publish. I can go add more or remove some. I can even select what version of those files I want to send. And then when you're ready you simply hit the publish button. This gives us the link. Again I can copy and paste this link now into an email and send it off to my internal staff. Um, in this case uh, we're just going to come down open up a Chrome browser and I'll go and paste the link in there and hit enter and there we go we've got a, a 12D Synergy download page to use there. Now this download page um, so the person would get this on the end and hit the download button and it would download all those files in a zip archive file. The web page template itself, uh, just note there that it can be customized by administrator to match your corporate branding. Web drops. Web drop is similar to publishing but in reverse. This allows you to receive data to a designated folder. Again, this is useful for large files which are too large for email. This can be again restricted by password and or expiry date. It can also be restricted per upload. Again, this is a feature that must be enabled by your administrator before it can be used. So to create a file web drop, go to the folder that you want the data to come into, right click on it, come down to other and select web file drops. As you can see there's none being created in here so we're going to come down and select create new drop. Fill out our basic tab first so again whatever the data might be that you want to come through. We'll say survey data. Um, we can give it a description. Uh, you must provide a description actually. So let's go new field survey 12DA files. You have the option to restrict the file size that comes in. If it is left blank then the file size is um, not limited. You can also limit what extensions you want. So if you just want 12DA files you can put 12DA in there. Again if it's left blank then any file type can be sent through. Then we have the mode. A few options here. You can create a new folder for each drop. You can upload to the current folder with unique names. Or you can upload to the current folder but create new versions of the existing files. For this one I'm going to use create a new folder. Again, you got the option to provide a password. If you want extra security, you can email that separately. Also, you've got the option to set an expiry date. Or, when it's been used once, you can check this box and it will also close the link so it can't be used again. Otherwise, if none of those are ticked, the link remains open and that other person can use that web drop um, whenever he or she prefers, which can be handy as well. All right, got the option to choose your custom pages um, and a describe page as well. Come to the attributes. Um, you've got the option to add attributes here. Uh, might be something like um, why has the data been received, is it for information, is it for checking, whatever it may be. Contacts, just note your contact must be in the system already. So this is who it's going to go to, so we can hit the plus button here. Um, we can go find and you can choose 
who it's going to be sent to. All right, so we're going to use the client. And we got notifications. So these are the recipients. So when data is dropped onto this web drop, who do you want to be notified about it? So again, just hit the plus button. Several options there. You've got met yourself. You can pick another user or a role or even a group. Okay. When you've done all that, you can hit create and the web drop is done. Okay. Uh, automatic email will be sent out to the contact. They will get the web drop link and they can now submit data to your Synergy server. Transmittals. Transmittals are not available unless switched on by your 12D administrator. And the transmittal is the formal process of transferring data. And we do that using the issue files. It's in the job tree, right up near the top there. And under issue files, um, you can see I've provided a few options there as a default. This assists with organizing the types of transmittals. Okay. More can be added or changed by your administrator. So in this case, I might want to issue something to the client. We then go create set. We can give the set a name. So again, uh, I'm going to use a date system. Give it a description. And then we go create. You have the option to issue this now, or perhaps maybe your as the files become available, you can add them over the week and issue this um, Friday afternoon. So we'll go no for now. That just creates the set. And now you can modify that set whenever you like. So we come up to the ribbon, select modify, we come to the files tab now, and we can add whatever files we want. So I'm going to come and pick my two PDFs and hit select. So there's my PDFs there. Again, you've got the option to change what version you want to send if you wish. And then when you're ready, you select modify. Go OK to that. And again, I can keep adding more and more files to that set uh, as I wish. When you're ready to send it, click on the set, come up to the ribbon and select issue. Now in here, um, administrator has had added an issue reason attribute. So we got to select the value. It's a list attribute. So we might be issuing it for information. And then you get to select who you want to send it to. Again, these contacts must be already added into your system. So hit the plus button here. I'm going to go find to look at my contacts. And again, I'm going to send it to the client. Down the bottom, you've got the option to uh, include a transmittal cover sheet. So that'll give an overview of what's included uh, in the issue. And then we simply select issue. This gives us multiple options. First option at the top there is via your email server. This does not give you a chance to edit the email. It just sends it directly from your generic email address. You can issue it via your Outlook. So this will open up an email for you, um, attach the files inside. You can type whatever text you want before you hit the send button. Via publishing, we've seen the publishing tool in use. Um, I certainly recommend this one because it's not restricted by data size and it is trackable. So that means if um, when they download it, 12D Synergy will recognize and tell you that it's been downloaded. Where an email, the only way to track that 
is via read receipts. Uh, if you've got via your publishing outlook, so again, it uses the email to send um, and publish the link manually. So very similar to the one above. And then manually, this is basically just keeping a record of your transmittal. You may be issuing a hard copy of these files, uh, and delivering it in the post, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, since we've seen the publishing one already, we'll just do the simple email one. Gives you the option to zip the file, so yes, I'll zip them. And if we come down the bottom here, you'll see that it's produced an email for me. There's a zip file attached, so again, um, I can come and write whatever words I want in this email now. Okay, do up your email, and then when you're ready, you can hit send. And that sends the email off to the client. All right. Again, I still recommend using the publish, because uh, if we come back to the set now, uh, you've always got a record of what was issued in that set. You can see when it was issued, because it can be reissued to other people. So there's all the details. Uh, you can view the details here. Uh, but if we were to use the publishing method, it would tell me when those items are downloaded as well. Um, so that avoids that conflict where somebody might accuse you of not sending them the information. So that's how issuing is tracked. And again, you've always got that formal record of all your outgoings there.